Hello there, this is Chatterbox, and I really want a dog. Unfortunately, I can't get a dog, so instead I spend a lot of time looking at pictures of dogs on the internet. But my methods of browsing dogs on the internet are not good enough. There are other elements on the screen other than dogs, and I just feel that this isn't acceptable. I also really want to be able to look at pictures of dogs on the go. So to solve these problems, I'm going to learn how to make a mobile app to view pictures of dogs and only pictures of dogs. I've also wanted to learn how to make mobile apps for ages, so this seems like the perfect excuse. So, what am I going to use to make this app? Well, I've had my eyes on a framework called Flutter. Flutter is a framework for making mobile apps by Google. It is cross-platform, and from what I've heard, pretty easy to use. You declare your apps in a way that feels kinda similar to HTML, and then you program them in Dart, a programming language from Google that might actually be the most generic programming language I've ever seen. If you've ever programmed before, Dart should be a piece of cake, especially if you've used Java before. So I started up a project and got to work. The first thing we need is access to pictures of dogs. And after a while of browsing online, I found two APIs that I can use to request pictures of dogs from. After that, I spent a bit of time testing them and figured out how to get data from them. I simply make a request to their API and they return a JSON to me containing a URL to an image. The next thing we need is a way to display those images. Fortunately, Flutter has just the thing for me, a great function called image.network, which allows you to input a URL and it'll display this on the screen. Combining this with a little container to hold the image, we're almost there already. However, at this point, everything started breaking. I'm not sure why, but some of my async functions went a bit crazy and just decided to break the app whenever I launched it. You need async functions in order to request data, because obviously that data needs to be sent over a network and you aren't going to get it instantly, so you have to use them to wait for a bit. Fortunately though, after a bit of tweaking, they were working again, but I still have no clue what caused the error or how to replicate it. Now we need a way to display all of my dog images, because at the moment we're only fetching one, which kinda sucks. I want infinite dogs. Again, Flutter has a super nice feature called Item Builder, which allows me to build out a list as it updates, essentially allowing for infinite lists. Now I can just add my fetched image URLs to a list, and I can index through that list in order to display as many dog images as I like. After a bit of optimization to make sure that my phone's RAM doesn't disappear faster than any packs of Skittles that happened to enter my room, the app was exactly what I wanted. Infinite pictures of dogs for me to scroll and browse to my heart's content. So the app's done, excellent. Now you may be wondering, how can you get your hand on this app? Because let's face it, it's really cool. Unfortunately, I can't really let you use it because my wallet is not deep enough to be able to afford to put this on any app stores at the moment. But it might appear somewhere else at some point when I get the time. But for now, I have to keep all of the dog pictures to myself. I'm really happy with this app, it quenches how much I want a dog for a tiny bit longer, but if you like this video, then like it and I'll show you some more dog images, and I'll also show you even more of them if you subscribe. There's also a link to my Discord in the description, which I'd highly recommend checking out because there might be even more dog images there. But for now, thank you for watching and have a good day.